Hello, welcome to episode Hi. 14. <laughs> welcome to the 14th episode of Firewood Media Cast. I'm Cole McCormick, your favorite host. And uh, unfortunately, today I'm joined by Layla Nowak. <laughs> Swallow your gum. No, I don't want to mute me for seven, for seven years. I. That's not how it works. Swallow your. <laughs> It landed on the table perfectly, so kind of a rebel. All right, episode 14. Today we are talking about Doppelganger, a short film that we just put out. Now, normally we wouldn't talk about this kind of stuff because, I don't know, it's weird to like talk about your own stuff, yeah. but um, we kind of have a reason to because it went viral, and we're going to kind of talk about that and how that happened and like the making of it as well. I mean, I already did a making of video, but this is kind of including this one. First things first, uh, Doppelganger, we filmed that. It took like a day the first time yeah. around, the first time around. So just kind of go over what that was like. Um, It was definitely not like weird is the wrong word, but like it was just like not, okay, it also wasn't out of nowhere, but like we kind of just were like, you know what? We're doing this. And so then we did it. Um. Like, didn't even care what I looked like. Just went, okay, this is what we're doing. Because we were just hanging out. We had nothing else to do. And we are like, all right, let's make a short film. And little did we know that it'd be literally like your best video on your channel. Quality is subjective. But if we're talking exactly. views, yes. Yeah. Because uh, anything with her in it is not going to be the best. This, I hope this podcast. Uh, anything with me to get the most views. Thank I you. think this podcast will hardly break 20 views. Guys, so. if we get over 20 likes on this video. <laughs> If we get over to finish the finish the sentence. Um, I can't say that stuff on here. What are you gonna What were you gonna say? <laughs> I can't say it on here. I'll do. Um, you guys can comment what you want me to do. <laughs> I'll do it if we get more than twenty likes. Okay. This isn't a cam girl. <laughs> For clarification, we are in the basement of your dorm. Yes. Right. I'll put the address up here in case no! anyone wants to visit. <laughs> is it quad? Like, is it air? tight like can they hear you like shrieking no it's like it's kind of soundproof kind of we're gonna get arrested for a noise complaint okay sorry um actually after 10 a.m you will 10 p.m oh my gosh we'll be done by then so okay <laughs> by the way that's why we're not in our normal studio it's just because uh it was currently in use and it was on short notice so because we're recording this like two days before this comes out anyways Made the short film, edited it. If you want to know the exact details, just watch the making of video. I'll plug it in the description because it's pretty cut and dry. But um, it's actually very interesting. I watched it and I was like, oh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, you know, we put it out and then it, it got a decent amount of views, like typical for a short film of ours, like maybe a couple hundred views at first. Yeah. And then it just started going up and up and up and up. And then I kind of realized, oh, this is like it's going viral oh, this is going <laughs> this is going and it was pretty impressive at first because like once it hit a thousand views i realized like okay something's up because the external views were through the roof what do you mean wait a minute no i was like copying you like, oh wait a minute that was That's the most unnatural interjection ever so i'm gonna mute your mic anyways <laughs> um <laughs> what happened was there, I was getting a ton of external views and I didn't really know from where. And what I ultimately found out, because someone commented saying, for some reason, this is going viral on Japanese Twitter. <laughs> uh, someone, I'm assuming from Japan, or at least that spoke Japanese, uh, commented, you know, he, or he tweeted a link to the movie and then like frames of it. And then was just like, this was very creepy, blah, 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 blah. Shout out and to whoever that was. Thank you. It got... <laughs> like thousands and thousands of likes and it was at almost 800,000 views like the the tweet itself that's nuts so 800,000 people saw like your face think about that sorry oh. <laughs> oh no that's actually really epic like i was thinking to myself like, narcissism when, moment shut i said sorry anywho um but i was like thinking in my head like out of all of cole's films that he's made on his channel like that one like it was great don't get me wrong but like i was like really i was like i was genuinely so surprised and i still can't like comprehend how mm. many people have like seen my face and like your channel yeah. and like it just 
I, like I said, I can't, I can't comprehend it. It's just so yeah. weird, but cool. Well, what was funny too that happened like two days before was I put out this like YouTube short because YouTube was like, you have to put out YouTube shorts. Yeah. They emailed me and it's like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll do that because um, my impressions were so low. Like I was getting 100 impressions that day and I'm like, okay, they're obviously – I'm not saying they're doing it intentionally in case someone from YouTube is watching. I'm not implying that at all. So I started putting out YouTube shorts one a day, and I'm going to continue to do that just to see how it goes. Uh, But the one we put out was of our friend Gabe, and it was of him as Walter White (laughs) with, like, the Breaking Bad music. My name is Walter Hartwell White. And then that got, like, 2,000 views in, like, under an hour. It was the most insane thing ever. so weird. And then I put it on our TikTok account, and then that got even more views. So, Plug the TikTok. Firewoodmedia.com slash firewoodmedia. T- no. Is it, is it TikTok.com? You guys, I've been at school TikTok. all day. TikTok.com. <laughs> there, there will be a firewoodmedia.com soon. We're getting there. Anyways. Hey. Getting back on topic. Sorry. Um, what was the topic again? <laughs> oh, you were yeah, just talking about views. Gabe. Um, well, besides the, talking about doppelganger. Um, yeah, I started getting a bunch of comments that were all in Japanese and I translated them and they were all very polite. Thankfully, there were a few comments that were not so positive that (laughs) we were laughing about. Can we, can we giggle at some? Well, I don't want to call them out, but it was just just funny. They said that it was boring, (laughs) right? Or they were like, what was the point of this? And then you were like, wow. I was like, dang, am I that boring? (laughs) It's funny. Like we can laugh at it because we don't give a shit no like we literally don't i think with any actor any film like you're never gonna get 100 percent like whoa this is so cool but like literally like i said we did it in like a day Mm -hmm. like it wasn't it wasn't necessarily our like best most fabulous like we were not offended in the slightest (laughs) like it's just funny yeah That's, I'm just yeah. thankful they gave you the view, so... Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> crazy. Yeah, and the engagement helps, too, yeah, so... Yeah, so... Sucker! <laughs> <laughs> we sound so, like, conceited. Okay, it isn't about the views, It's first not about off. the views, guys, but it is about the views, so thank you so well, much. Well, no, it's not. I like <laughs> seeing eyes on the project. No, I get You know, that. I view that as more X amount of people watched it, and that's cool, because, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I did submit it to a few film festivals, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, one thing I, I liked seeing in response, though, was that people like the sound design because that was something that I really... It was really cool. I really took time on that because that, that was tough. Dylan yeah. liked it, and I'm, I'm happy because he's a big sound guy. Yeah. And he was I like, was really nervous because I, like... It's really hard for me to watch films when they have no, like... Dialogue? Dialogue. Yeah. Like, same thing with songs. Like, mm-hmm. the song has to have lyrics or else I'm like, eh. So I was like, I will admit I was a little nervous, but, like, the sound, like... W- I didn't even, like, after hearing the sound, like, watching it once, I was like, I was so thankful there wasn't dialogue. Yeah. Like, it was really good. Well, because we, I kind of thought of the idea of, well, let's add narration. Remember that? Yeah. And I'm like, I'll write some stuff to see if we could do, like, like voiceover of, like, you know, and I was going to have it where it's, like, because I wanted it to be a bit ambiguous as to whether or not it was real. Like, I wanted to have, like, a pill bottle, like, next to the alarm clock in that shot. Oh, that makes sense. And then, but then I was like, okay, that kind of implies it a bit too much. So I might not do that, and then I ultimately didn't. But I would have had, like, narration kind of being, like, uh, I don't know if what I'm seeing is real, blah, 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 blah. It would have yeah. been, like, really just kind of no, in No, I get that. But, no, I loved the sound. Like, mm-hmm. it was really good. Yeah, I was worried it was too minimal, but I think it works. No, it was, like, perfect. I had my roommate, um, Eliana. Hey, Eliana. Um, she <laughs> – shout out. Um, she watched it, like, right in front of me. And at those points, she was literally, like, hiding her eyes because she would hear the noise. She'd be like, yeah. what's that noise? What's that noise? <laughs> I'd be like, watch the dang thing. But, like, the d- sound definitely added because, like, even, like, like the look of it was still scary. Like, that was me. Um, but, like, it was still scary. But, like, the sound added another, like, thing to it. Like, yeah. I-, I will say watch it with headphones if you haven't. Have you? I have not watched okay. it with headphones. I feel like I would be too scared. To watch Watching it with headphones <laughs> really helps because, like, that low rumble, if it's good. Like, if it's, like, mm-hmm. Beats headphones, mm-hmm. then it sounds incredible. But Well, you know that I don't got no Beats headphones. Oh, yeah, you're poor. <laughs> I forgot. Guys, Venmo me, um, <laughs> Venmo no. me money. No, don't give her money. It, it was shocking because I was up like that yeah, you whole kept night. Texting, you're like, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't was know freaking what to do. out. I was <laughs> in well, a good way. Yeah, well, because it was like I didn't know what to do, you know. And I'm like, oh, geez, you know. And I ended up tweeting at the at the original comp that tweeted at them, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm the I'm the creator of this. Thanks for showing support Did you, and like, all have that. Have to flip it to Japanese, like. I didn't translate my own thing because it does like an auto translate on oh. Twitter. So okay, but. Yeah, I think why it worked in Japan 
and with Japanese audiences and even non-English audiences in general, I think the reason why it worked so well was because there was no dialogue. Yeah. You know, it anyone can watch it. Anyone, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you get the doppelganger at the top and like that's just the title and the credits at the end, but But it's just, yeah, it's just the title. So. It's a multilingual thing completely unintentionally. So that's something that we should consider in the future. No, I 100% agree. Which is funny cuz our next short film is all dialogue. It's like 30 <laughs> minutes of dialogue, but It's still good though. Still yeah, good. I'm excited. We I'm really excited for that one. It's called The Foxhole. We could talk about that for a little bit. Um <clears throat> For sure. So it's this post-apocalyptic movie. Uh, it follows three strangers who end up in a bunker, and they have to work together because the generator that's powering the bunker is gradually running out of power, and they have to switch that over to a solar generator to kind of keep it going. And um, that's the premise, you know, and that's it's very kind of cut and dry like that. Um, what, do you, what do you have to say about it? Um, talk about the behind the scenes. Just don't go too into detail, of course, but talk about just like what it was like filming there. So I think I'm going to die early. <laughs> I think there is stuff in my lungs from where we filmed that is going to make me die very soon. Um, but it was generally really fun. It was, I think that like, even though, like I said, it, where we filmed was a little, you know. <laughs> we filmed in my basement and not even in the basement. It's in the back room that we have where it's all gravel rocks at, at, for the floor and there's mold everywhere. And that's that's why I'm gonna die. Like for example, I sniffed mold for we hours. filmed a little bit in August because originally this was gonna be a feature, but mm -hmm. then I cut it down to a short film. Uh, and the slate that we used for the feature I left in that room, and that was from yep. August. And then we filmed in December, right? Yes. Yeah, December. And I picked up the slate in December, and it had mold all over it. It was so gross. Like fungi. And so. I was like, if it if that looks like that. What Imagine are your what our what are your lungs, lungs look like. Yeah. It's like I don't vape and what that, but like that's what I feel like the inside of my lungs looked like because it's all. I woke mold. up with a sore throat <laughs> after the first day of filming. I think we it all was, did. It was scuffed. We but. all did. But in all honesty, it was super super fun. I think because of like the weird like scene where we filmed it, mm -hmm. because it looks weird but super cool. I think that's gonna be like a cool plus to the movie, like. Instead of just watching us, you're going to be, like, looking in the background at all, like, the different things. It's you know, the that. best set design, I think, that we've yeah, ever had. Yeah, it was know? really good. And, yeah, like I said, my throat definitely hurt. Um, but it was still a really fun experience. And plus, we filmed it with, like, all of our best friends. So, like... Not Nick, though. Well, Nick was there for, like, a day. <laughs> Hi, <but>. Nick. <laughs> Nick is my boyfriend. I love him. I won't talk about that right now. But, um, anywho, he's in um, a lot of... He's in everything. Literally everything. Because yeah. he's a very talented man. You're like a Nepo baby. That's why you're here. <laughs> No, he's very, very talented. Um, but anywho, but yeah, most of our like best friends were there. We had so many laughs. I'm sure there'll be like a bloopers thing with all of us. Oh, our... I have to put that. <laughs> yeah, up. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> I did a making of thing, and I just combined the interviews that we shot back in August with yeah. stuff we shot from August and December. Yeah. Because I don't care. Like I, well, I care, but like with editing this, it's such a tight deadline right now that we have to get this out at a certain time. Yeah. And the making of thing is out now. Well, not publicly but it's uploaded like put, and scheduled yeah. mm -hmm. despite the movie not even being done yet just because that's like okay let's get that out of the way so i can rest and for a week and you have everything for that like that's easy yeah. to edit not like the actual short film yeah it's also the first movie that i'm not editing completely by myself um me and an editor named sergio we are splitting up the editing job so he's doing like that middle portion of the movie which is oh, good because okay. that's all dialogue which i'm like I don't like <laughs> editing dialogue because it's so tedious at times. Yeah, especially with all of our like shot to shot or yeah. Yeah. And I have ADHD, so it's hard for me to edit I get dialogue. That. Whereas if it's like an action scene, it's like oh okay, I can just boom no, boom I boom get, get that, it done because yeah. it's quick. But yeah, but I love my character. It's the first actual like. Well, now this is the first. Now like, my first technically because we filmed it before. Yeah. It was your first, yeah. But yeah, it's my first like short film that I'm a part of like have an actual role in which i'm super well it's happy. so funny can we talk about your history of getting completely shafted like yeah okay it's really so funny. Cole, has this about it. cole has this thing that so fun fact you're not the only person that i've done this to just oh. let's make that clear okay good well that makes me feel a little <laughs> bit better yeah. um but i've been technically i've been in a lot of short films or i have at least helped with a lot of short films mm -hmm. but every time that i have a scene or like i was talking about even before that remember you were supposed to be in pesticide oh my Again, um, <laughs> I just get kicked out or Cole's like, well, to be fair, there were like six we're not people. We're going to use this scene. <laughs> well, there were like six people that were going to be in pesticide yeah. that weren't because of 
the movie was so long. Exactly. The, yeah. the first cut was three hours long, and I cut it down to an hour twenty yeah. because it was just so insanely long. But uh, there was supposed to be a party scene. We never filmed this, but I mm -hmm. wrote it, and it involved Joe's character, uh, Dylan's character, Zach's character. Your uh, you would have had a character that had like two or three lines, but it would have been just kind of background. <laughs> And then, like, um, yeah, I know our friend Ryan O'Connor, who yeah. is in Wayward Sons, very, very briefly, he's in like a background shot. But, anyways, um, they were all supposed to be at this kind of like party, and mm -hmm. it would have helped establish Joe's character as more psychotic as opposed to people mm -hmm. just saying he is. Yeah, like, I want to have a scene where like he stabs a knife through someone's hand, but oh. again, it didn't cool, really cool vision, but I know it was also like it's one hard of your first off. big, exactly. Yeah. So. But yeah, me and Cole also weren't like the bestest of friends. We still aren't. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that. No, I, I was gonna say you were obnoxious and I hated you. <laughs> we. <laughs> do you want to talk about how we? You can talk about it. Okay, we can talk. Yeah, I'll talk about <laughs> it. Um, so like most of Firewood Media, we were theater kids once, um, and I was doing a play at the time called Night of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually referenced that in one of the reviews. Like, I have a picture. Oh, epic. It was during the Night of Living, Re Night of Living Dead review. You see, like, me and Joe and Nick and mm -hmm. like, the frame. It's really funny. Yeah. Anyways, uh, and you were a zombie in that. I was a zombie. You were just harassing me nonstop because I was the lead. <laughs> Not in the zombie way. I was harassing him because he was a cool person, and I wanted to be friends with him. <laughs> he was, like, the popular theater kid, and I was like... I want to be friends with him. He seems cool. And then I guess I was really annoying, which I understand. I still am very annoying. I was a cool kid. Now I just post Patrick. Now, he's not now cool. I just post Patrick Bateman <laughs> uh, Sigma male memes on Instagram. But no, I uh, yeah. And then and then like I thought you were obnoxious as shit. So he still does. Yeah. Don't, don't be fooled. Mm. Don't be fooled. Again, nepo baby. You know. <laughs> oh my god. You're dating Nick, so it's like, that's why you're here. Um, but anyways, what what. What broke the ice? Like, what what got know. us working together on something? Was it? I think it was Wayward Sons because I think Nick. I said to Nick, "I'm like, we need someone to like do crew work." And then, and I was like, I was so desperate. I was like, I'll do anything. I'll do, I'll do sound. I'll I'll clean the well, mics. When you, when you word it like that, it sounds bad. <laughs> no, I, you know what I mean though. I just wanted to be a part. I love film. Like, I love being an actress. I love. I love the Boss Baby movies. That's I film do. right there. I do. Like, Family Guy is top tier. Anywho, we'll talk about that later. Um, but point being, like, I just wanted to be a part of it because I genuinely thought it was so cool. And I don't have any other friends that do this stuff. Well, <laughs> any friends in general. But also. <laughs> I was going to say it. Also, like, that do this. And I just, like, like I said, I love acting. So it's, like, when I saw this, I was like, I want to be a part of it mm -hmm. in any way that I can. And with my boyfriend being really close to you and being in a lot of the short mm -hmm. films and any films that were on your um, channel, like, I was like, well, here's, like, my little in, in a way. Like, I was like, if he needs anything, I was telling Nick, like, if Cole needs anything, you know, to do with, like, the film, like, tell him I'll help him. You know, if he needs me to be, like, the mule and carry stuff, which I was. Yeah, you before. were. You were the pack mule. <laughs> I was. We pretty much always had a pack mule Little for five foot, five foot three me. TJ was the best pack mule. Well... I'm tiny. Like, I couldn't carry a lot, but I tried because I wanted to be friends with you. <laughs> and now I'm like. We did Wayward Sons the first year, and then I'm like, okay, for the next year, I actually had a part for you. Yeah. So, which isn't a spoiler because you're probably going to be in the trailer. I got to. Sergio's going to edit the trailer. I'm thinking <laughs> September we'll have a trailer out um, for that movie, and mm -hmm. we're just going to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to show as much of the movie, but as least of the movie as possible. Like, I get that, yeah. I, I might just be like music and then just like kind of like little glimpses, but yeah, nothing like big that. substantial. But yeah, so then that was your first real shoot of you actually on camera. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was so nervous. I wasn't nervous because like, okay, so I l memorized my lines. Like I, when Cole gives me- It was me, impressive. It was. When Cole gives me lines, I, I have to memorize them because- I get a lot of anxiety over, like, not knowing stuff. And so, mm -hmm. like, Cole gives me lines. I'm always like, all right, first day memorized. Yeah. Um, but that's just how my brain works. So I had them, like, all memorized. I was all ready. I knew exactly what movements I was going to do. And, like, it wasn't like a I'm nervous that I'm going to mess up. It was this is my first time in a Cole movie, and I don't, want him, to, I don't want him to, like, kick me out of it or cancel it like he does with every other <laughs> sign that I'm I in. do cancel movies, though. I will say that is a problem that I've had. Um because there are a few where, like, the closest we ever got to finishing one and canceling it was this movie called... And I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm just saying, you know. No, just, no, you're good. It was a movie called uh, Dead Man Walking. And it was with... Dead Man Walking. Joe as the lead. Sam Blessing as, like, the secondary lead. Mm -hmm. Logan, guys, he was in. It was a Western. Logan played okay. a sheriff. Um, 
Joe and Sam were kind of like outlaws, and then I was in it for like, like you only you didn't see my face, but I was just like a silhouette because like I had like a cowboy night. hat. Yeah, we basically shot the whole thing except for like this like night scene with like a campfire, and then that one was so old it was like the last thing I ever filmed on my old like camera that's that I used nuts. for pesticide. It was right before I got this one, and then I got this one, and that's why I canceled it because I'm like, oh. I'll just way better know, quality. Yeah, yeah, and then I didn't bother refilming it, but I'm probably gonna rework the script yeah. and do something with it. But yeah. it's pretty much finished. Like if I wanted to, I could just edit it together now and exactly. put it out. But I don't want to because it's so crap quality. No, that. But with it's not that, with it. that problem, like I think nowadays, like you have such a better like support system when it comes to that. That like we are all part of it and mm -hmm. we are all willing to like help you. Yeah, and we want it out because we, yeah. we know like how awesome it is because you have some pretty wacky ideas but like mm -hmm. in the best way possible yeah it's so like i feel like now you have a better support system with everyone helping you and i think the more you think about new films the more likely you'll be able to actually you know put them out and not cancel them yeah um that was definitely a problem early on because it yeah. was like i mean we'll just look at my output you know uh i did like one short film in 2019 and then i did i think two in 2020 and a feature in 2020 2021 i think i did like oh i did one short and one feature and I think a music video. And then in 2022, it was like, I think I did like eight short films. And then now this year I'm gonna do like 12, almost 13 short films and then a feature. So, you know, having support like that really helps in getting stuff out. And, uh, you know, it's great just being like, okay, here, uh, what days are you guys open? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can just get this done in like a day, so. Mm -hmm. Also, speaking about music videos, when are we working on some music? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I've been writing music and I've been sending you music, music. This was a thing that we were going to work on earlier in the fall because mm -hmm. that was your, you know, first year here. Yeah. And, um, and I was like, okay, here's some songs I wrote. And then it just kind of went nowhere. Cause then yeah. the well, film, we both got super busy, the film exactly. festival happened. Yeah. They're both in a film club here as well. So yeah. we both were occupied by that. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, soon, I guess. I definitely, yeah. I definitely once, want to get on that. Once I'm kind of through this rough of getting Foxhole no, out, then it's like, even though that's been that. this whole thing, it's been, okay, once we get this done, then we'll do that. And then it's like, oh, well, but we I'm doing this now. we both are free. Yeah. You know, it's not something that needs to be like on your plate, like, you mm -hmm. know, super high up, but yeah. just something, something that would be fun. I will say, though, I am going to slow down on the video production and focus more on the film production side because, mm -hmm. like, I'm happy. It, the, the doppelganger short gave me confidence to actually yeah. make movies and yeah. rely on that and not be That's like. That's what you love. So. I'd be like, oh, I got to make a movie review to get views. And then, you know. I definitely like, I still watch like all your videos, not mm -hmm. just because you're my friend, but just because I literally, they're literally good. Yeah. Like, they're Thank literally you. good. Thank you. Um, but I definitely prefer watching videos rather than like the reviews. They're still good, but like. No, I agree. The yeah. Films are in my opinion, more enjoyable to watch. You know? By the way, I'm still doing the Halloween stuff. Don't get me wrong. That wasn't like a, I'm slowing it down completely. I am doing the 31 reviews because that was actually fun because it puts me in the Halloween I was mood. Like, if it's fun for you, no, I like doing cares? that. But the movie reviews in general, I might just slow down. Like I have a big video essay I want to get out in like March, but otherwise, um, which that one we could talk about a little bit, you know, in a bit. But I'm just saying like, the, the short reviews are great around October because they get me in the Halloween spirit. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, I get to watch 31 horror movies and I have an excuse to do it because of exactly. the YouTube thing. That is one of my biggest things that I've been trying to work on, though, is prioritizing having fun with actually uh, like, okay, not trying to make excuses to have fun, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Like, because every time I hang out with someone, it's to make a movie, you know, and I've been working on that. We're like with Nick. Him and I just hung out one day and then TJ stopped by for a bit. And we were just watching like dumb YouTube videos and it was so like freeing in a way. Cause it was like, yeah. my brain wasn't in content creator yep, mode and it 100%. was just, I don't know. That's always been like one of my biggest things that I've struggled with is especially lately now that I'm in the YouTube grind. It's like, okay, you have to slow down and you have to just spend time with family and friends. Separate job from yeah. life <laughs> that's the thing too i'm trying not to make this into a job even though i like simultaneously am yeah because it's like it's still fun you know yeah it's just a fun hobby but i definitely understand what you're saying mm -hmm. the like separation yeah. yeah uh that big video essay though i'm working on that right now um shout out to josh for helping me revise it shout out to alana she's gonna help me edit you. it <laughs> i love you alana. that's my girlfriend she was in the extra podcast episode and that was really it's like a collab so we're all just working on like i'm in it and i'm doing the whole narrating thing and i started writing it like i wrote like just the basic outline and then josh sort of took it and then just 
expanded my thoughts so much so to the point where I think it's at like 4,000 words. Like it's it's a, it's going to be a long video. It will. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a process for sure. Right now I'm just deciding what am I going to shoot live action like yeah. on camera and then what's yeah. going to be narrated. But uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. But that's – it's on Gus Van Sant who's like my all-time favorite director. Okay. And so he really inspired like that early – like another Close to the Sun. That was – Totally yeah. just ripped off Gus Van Sant and his whole style. Um, but it's on him. It's on his trilogy of death. He did three movies that were based on real life events that were involving people dying. So uh, we're in a school, so I don't want to mention one of them, but I think you can kind of figure out what it is. The other one was on Kurt Cobain, and then the other one was on two people who get lost in the wilderness. So hmm, that sounds familiar. Granted, though, I do say in there that I did take from that, yeah, but yeah. that it's like I wanted to do it's it in different. a different direction. Yeah. It's completely different. Exactly. It's two different movies, it's just trust a funny, me. A funny the, little the setup is what I liked. Easter egg. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But the setup is what I liked. Yeah. Because the way he did it was something I kind of didn't like. But yeah. that should be out maybe March, but definitely April, May. So. I don't know. Still a short film a month. Awesome. Wayward Sons hopefully out in November? Question mark. Uh, my opa is so excited for this. I love it. It's uh <laughs> He's so he did, he did about such it. a great job yeah. too. Um cuz he came in clutch cuz we needed an older gentleman for the role. He definitely fit the part. It wasn't what I was picturing in my head, I will say that. Oh, he doesn't um, look like Cuz yeah. the person I was picturing unfortunately couldn't do it due yep. to an illness, but yep. um he, you know, your opa came in clutch. He's got this gorgeous mustache. This That's Fu Manchu. Like Fu Manchu. And it's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Um, yep. Yeah, so he's in the diner <laughs> scene. And then later on, he becomes more important. But anyways. Because you'll have to watch it. Yeah, you'll have to watch it when it comes out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, uh, that was one of the surprises of filming. Not in like a negative way. Like, you know, I'm no. surprised he was good. But I'm saying exactly. like, I was surprised that he was involved. You, you know, it was cool. I wasn't expecting it either. Yeah. Like, I was, I, you asked me to like ask around and like, mm -hmm. I was going to be like, I am just going to ask. Like, I did not think he was going to do it. But then, you know, he's my favorite person on this earth. Well, he like, had a list, you know, of like, mm -hmm. I won't be disrespected, <laughs> which is fair. You know, you, he doesn't know what he's getting into. And no, then, exactly. You know, but, he, you know, he's from the older days. Yeah, so it's doesn't like, want to. Didn't he say, like, he didn't want to, like, uh, lift anything? Yeah, because right? he, yep. And, like, he wanted to, like, not be any, like, chase scenes or he didn't yep. want to be running, which is fair, obviously. He didn't want to be, like, disrespected. Yeah, and I'm like, no, here it is. It's, like, probably the most respectful yeah. character in the whole movie it's in a way. It's just cute. Like, yeah. It was just – it was so – because he's never done anything like mm -hmm. that. Like, you know, it was just really cute to see my opa, like, doing one of my passions. Yeah. Like, it just was, like <laughs> – that was so cute. But, yeah, I love him. He's literally my best friend. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm going to talk about Family Guy. So I – Go off. I love Family Guy so much. Um, li okay, so it started off with, like, I've watched it since I was little, okay? Um, but it's, like, my comfort show. Like, when I'm trying to be funny, like, when I have a lot of anxiety, when I have a lot going on, like, it's not so funny, but, like, I literally just turn on Family Guy and everything is solved. Like, it's just, like, one of those comfort shows. I know people have them. But I, oh, there's just something that, I'm not, like, perfect. Like, I can't be, like, oh, um, this season, this episode. I can with some of them. Some mm -hmm. of them, trust me, some of them I can. Yeah. But, like, I will relate everything to a Family Guy reference. Like, you were talking before about um, Doppelganger in the beginning. Um, and you – no, I didn't – no, you'll see. I didn't say anything, but you were, like, yeah, it's, like, talking to you in the future because, like, I'm talking to the camera right now on a Wednesday, but it's going to come out on Friday. Oh, yeah. And it made me think of a Family Guy reference. <laughs> People hate it. People love it. Mine I is South Park. It. That's my comfort show where it's like, I'll just turn it on uh, and just because like for the most part, it's what I like about Family Guy and even the Simpsons and South Park yeah. is it's episodic. You can exactly. just turn on anything That's and it doesn't it's matter. Favorite. I yeah. cannot like. I mean, I know in the ugh. recent stuff, I know they did something with like the kid. Wasn't there like a like Stewie's rival? His name was like Doug or something, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. I only know that because the Family Guy subreddit was like, what do you guys think of Doug? And it was just, it's I don't such like weird... Doug. Do you actually not like Doug? No, I'm actually not a fan of him. Um, Why? Do you want to go into it? I don't like kids. Just kidding. I actually love kids. No, um, I do want to go into Whoa, it because there's hey, this. Hey, there is Justin this... Roiland? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's this episode where Stewie and him are on like a playground and Doug is like, trying to be all nice to Stewie and they're they're trying to get this frisbee that landed on the top. And Doug is being so nice and being like, We're best friends. Like, thank you, Stewie. And then like he's like, let's go down together. So they go down together. And then when Doug sees the people down there, he's like, 
I won. I got the frisbee. But Stewie got the frisbee. So therefore, he's a traitor. So therefore, I don't like Doug. Sure. And he also tried making Stewie kill a cat. So, and then the cat actually did end up dying because Doug killed it himself. But then took a photo of Stewie holding the cat. Didn't he? Did he die? <laughs> I heard he died. Doug. Is that his name? I don't think Doug died. I thought they killed him. <laughs> I don't think he killed him. <laughs> what? I heard that. I like, read it. I heard that they were. I know um, Lois hit him with a car. He, that probably killed he, him. He didn't die. No, because then instead of suing I'm Lois. I'm not going to argue about Instead this. of suing Lois, Doug, Doug's mom and dad, who are divorced and don't love each other, um, <laughs> they decided to um, make Chris and uh, Mr. Mr. Griffin, Mr. Peter Griffin, um, like take care of Doug and like build him everything and go to baseball. So. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah. Kind of, I'm kind of like a family guy connoisseur, so. But anyways, I, uh, I my mom doesn't like South Park at all, right? She I'm hates not, it. I'm not a big fan of South Park. I, and I, I get why. It is mean-spirited at times, I'd say. Yeah. But I like it more towards like just the – I love offensive comedy. I love yeah. just the raunchiest no, stuff imaginable. Yeah. Like, And so there's this really good documentary on HBO Max. It's called Six Days to Air, and it's about how they make a South Park episode because oh. they make it in six days. Oh, seriously? Yeah, from scratch, like in six days before it airs. Hmm. So, like, an episode could come out next week, which I think there is an episode coming out next week, and they're, like, working on it, like, right now, which is weird. That's why they're so topical, though. Oh. And I showed my mom the documentary, cool. and I forgot what the episode was that they were oh, covering, Lord. and it was the human sentai pad where Kyle is sewn oh. to the, the butt of a Japanese man. And Your then he, poor he, mother. He poops in Kyle's mouth. <laughs> And, and she's just like watching it and I'm laughing as hard as I can because it's so funny. And she's just like, just looks so disappointed to me. But my dad loves family. I would, or, uh, I would South be Park, disappointed so. as well. My dad's favorite though is uh, King of the Hill. He loves Hank Hill. So, but we do watch South Park a lot. Give me that purse. <laughs> That's such a classic. That's my purse. That's I don't know purse. you. I don't know you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, that's our comfort shows. Um, what have you been doing lately? What, what's up with you? What are you doing? What uh, are you doing with your life? Go. Nothing. Faster. I am the most boringest person ever. Um, no, but yeah, I've been filming with Cole, just doing a lot of like, obviously school is now. So school, yeah. um, I've been going to the gym a lot. Not that anybody cares, but trying to work on like, you know, my health and my figure just cause can't relate. <laughs> You have. Don't even lie. Don't no, even lie. I have been working on yeah, myself. Don't even I, uh, be proud of yourself. I get roughly 10 hours of sleep now, which is like my biggest. Hey, that's, that's very good. Yeah, that was my biggest thing. Anyways, carry on. I don't mean to cut no, you off, that's but I'm good. just saying. No, that's awesome. But yeah, so I've been kind of trying to do that, trying to just be healthier. Um, living my best life with Nicholas. Sh Nicholas. Schnicky. <laughs> Love Hey, you. only I can call him that. <laughs> um, no, seriously, like biggest my favorite person in my life um but i'm trying to see what else i'm really involved with um i'm on worship and crew i'm on the worship team so i love i love singing for jesus love me some jesus um no i mean i'm honestly like nothing huge is happening in my life right now but i'm super thankful for everything i'm happy to live another day can't say that always but right now i'm in a very good spot yeah, so. that's good that's good I'm I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm how here. are you? Sorry. Oh no, you're good. I'm just adding on to what you're saying, just because, like, well, from where I was, I'd yep. say I'm exponentially better. Oh yeah. From like two, yeah, yeah two years, two three years, three years ago. I don't know, two three years ago, uh, exponentially better. Yep. Obviously, like, for many reasons, but you know, um, yeah, you know, I think my biggest thing that I'm working on is getting enough sleep. Maintaining a good sleep schedule, Always good. which this is messing with it because my bedtime is 8 p.m. It's 8:40 right now. Sorry. So that I'm like half awake right now, but that's why I'm kind of low We can end soon if DB. No, no, we're getting this episode done, but <laughs> we're getting it done. Um, one thing I will say that's interesting. Oh no, I'm also trying to shed some pounds, but I'm waiting a bit just because I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to kind of maintain a good diet first. Yeah, whatever works but, for you. Yeah. Well, because like the last time I, I lost a bunch of weight about two, three years ago. Like I shedded. I was down to about 180, 170. And for context, I'm 6'8". That's not supposed to be like a flex. I'm just for context no, yeah. for my BMI, you know. And so I was like deathly skinny. I looked like I looked like a very sickly Victorian child. That was terrible. Um, but – and I've put on pounds now that I'm, I'm back and like I'm in college right now. So I've been eating more 
Uh, freshman year, I ate a ton. Mm-hmm. I really ballooned up, but now I'm down to about 260. Last last, you can see it in Polka that short film we did. I'm a fatty in that one. I'm about 285 in that short. Stop. No, it, you could see it, man, because I'm wearing a, a Bengals jersey because that was around the time of the Super Bowl. And then I'm also wearing my jacket, which is the same jacket over there. And you could see that, like, that thing looks – that jacket looks so tight on me, and now it's <laughs> super loose on me. But anyways, um, yeah, just trying to maintain a healthy weight. Yeah, you don't have to be, like, a super stick I don't want to be, be a stick anymore. Well, exactly, but know. that doesn't mean you're not healthy, mm-hmm. you know. Um, did I ever tell you about Joe and I? We had a little ghost misadventure that happened. Like actual Scooby Doo type shit. Did you no. hear about this? No. Okay. So uh, Joe came over because we were doing some minor reshoots for the Foxhole. Just oh, okay. Like I think you know the shot I was t- I was telling you about where it's him like running. Yeah. It's at the start. Okay. Yep. Yep. So we had to do some minor reshoots, and then I'm like, hey, do you want to go into Whitewater? Go and get some food because there's a buffet place here that's really good. I've referenced it on the podcast before. It's Beijing Buffet. Oh, I heard that you get. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> well, no, but like. For a buffet, it's good. Okay. You know, but like it's a buffet. It's not like it's fine dining. So him and I went to there and then I'm like, okay, I kind of want to work on some, like just, uh, I have this idea for this series on the channel and it's like an analog horror, but it isn't. It's more of like a found footage series. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm kind of been working on. Little top secret, but we'll get to that when we get to it. But basically we were at the staring water tower. Do you know about that? Yeah, I do. Here, you know I how do. they say it's haunted? It's like the witch's. Yeah, the thing. witch's tower. So um, we were there, and I had my gimbal, right? My gimbal yeah. was recording. And normally, my, my new, this is my new gimbal, because I had to replace the old one because it broke, and I got a free replacement. But anyways, um, we're filming like it's no big deal. And it's on camera, so I'm going to play it right now. <laughs> we're I, don't, trouble I don't know why. The gimbal is really being rude to us today. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Can you do like a spinny thing? No. <laughs> Some PowerPoint we're presentations. Um, but what happened was it's just started spinning the gimbal like as fast as it could. Like it was to the point where it was too fast. And the reason why it does it is because there's weight. Something's pushing down on it. Oh. Yeah. So we were pretty, I was, I was pretty creeped out because I knew what that meant. Joe really didn't because he was, you know, he doesn't really know a lot of the technical stuff with it. But I was kind of creeped out because I knew it wasn't the gimbal because that gimbal's been pretty much perfect. Yeah. I mean, there's been a few moments where it kind of, you know, it just, it's the user typically. But, um, so I was kind of creeped out and I was just trying to rationalize it going, okay, it's probably just the gimbal. But then I realized I'm like, this is one of the most haunted places in all of America. And, like, it's literally known as the second Salem because of how many people were killed here for witchcraft (laughs) and spiritualism was established and all that stuff. So, I don't know. That was our ghost encounter. I mean, I'm not – do you believe in ghosts? I mean, I know that you're a religious person, so where does that kind of lie with you? I mean, it's different for all people. Just remember that everyone has their own opinions, so nobody's right or wrong, especially with – Ghost. No. Start an start a argument in the comments no. right now no. about religion, about um, politics. No. Go. Um, so I don't necessarily believe in ghosts because, in my opinion, it's like, well, you're going to heaven and heaven is the most, well, hopefully you're going to heaven, um, is the most perfect place ever. Why would you ever leave? You know, that's kind of my intake on it. But demons, though, demons are something that scares me because I do believe demons are real. Demons can. Do you think a demon is a poltergeist? You know what a poltergeist is? No. It's like an angry ghost. Like the ones where they say like they like throw dishes around and, and shit. See, and I I haven't. Would like, you consider that a demon though? See, that's where it's. Hard. I mean, I would consider any kind of ghost a demon because I don't believe in ghosts. If that makes sense. Really. Yeah. If so I'm kind sense. of on the fence. My dad does believe in them, but like only to a degree of like he's seen them, so he believes them. He used to live in this house, and it uh, it wasn't the house that was haunted, but they say that a woman died. Uh, on the like on the road she was killed by a drunk mm-hmm. driver but that you can still see her walk across the road some of you who know wisconsin probably know the legend it's like um but they'll see her like walking across mm-hmm. the road she doesn't look like a ghost she doesn't look transparent but it's like a woman who's wearing like a very kind of elegant thing and he mm-hmm. saw her once it was late at night and he was in his house he saw her from the road so see, like that stuff like i don't believe in that which i mean like mm-hmm. I've also never experienced it, so and I'm not gonna. If somebody says something, I'm not gonna say like, yeah. "Ha, you're wrong." Like, no, because everybody has their own experiences. But like, that's just not something I believe in. So like, when I go to haunted places, like obviously, yes, you get that scary feeling, mm-hmm. but like, I don't feel like, oh, I'm about to 
you know, a ghost is going to touch me. Yeah. But if it's like, if it's demonic, like there's certain things I won't watch to, just because I get a little too yeah. nervous because I know there's ways if you let a demon in, if you let it in, like in my opinion, if you let mm-hmm. it in, like if you give it permission, it will come in. Like same thing with the Ouija boards. Like I don't go near those. It says, you know, in my in the Bible to not. Even though there's a copyright uh, <laughs> Hasbro on, on the, you know, they make baby toys. That's, you know, I, well, that's what I'm saying. Like it says not to go near that, and you know, believe it or not, like whether you believe that or not, like it's mm-hmm. just not something I do. And like, obviously you have to respect that. And I respect yeah. everyone, everyone who does do it. Like I'll watch, like I used to watch Sam and Colby, like the YouTube channel. I was just watching them on Joe Rogan. See, I, and I like today. I, I was. love <laughs> Sam and Colby. Okay. I've never gotten into their stuff. But. Like I love watching their stuff. Like mm-hmm. I love, don't get me wrong. I love watching haunted videos. I love going to abandoned yeah. places. I love doing all that. I just, it doesn't scare me because I don't believe in ghosts. And if I do get scared, I'm the first person to be like, God, protect me. Thank you. And then I'm like, I'm not scared. Because I know that if anything, like I have his protection over me. And so I don't get scared. So it's like the whole ghost thing is wishy-washy for me. Mm -hmm. It's really hard because I'm very set in stone with my ways. But I'm always open to a conversation. So. What about Bigfoot though? You fucking with Bigfoot? (laughs) I'm fucking with Bigfoot. (laughs) (laughs) For real though, you believe in Bigfoot? I mean, I, I believe there's, there are so many animals out there. You know, like we've only. Because I don't. Don't think I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not a big footer. That's no, not one I, of my things. I believe that there's animals that look weird. Do I believe, believe it's an eight foot man ape? No, <laughs> not at all. No, we would have caught one by now. That's yeah. the thing. And there's, I believe that there's weird animals in the ocean though, because we've only discovered what about giants? at least believe five. In giants? No. You're Christian though. I'm Catholic. Real Christians know that there were giants well, like, in the Bible. Okay. Now, like nowadays, like nowadays, like. Oh, um, okay, sure, you can say in that. In the past, like David and Goliath, like absolutely. Well, Goliath was just a big guy like well, me. Well, that's what I'm saying, but that's what they called him. They called unit. him a giant. But no, there were back actual then. giants though in the Bible. There were. Look it up. Okay, I, I believe you. I'm just saying. They found like, giant I, bones. I believe you. There's bones. <laughs> but yeah, it's just not something like I would be like, oh, yes, that's a giant. Okay. I would think it's a very tall man, but I wouldn't be like, oh, my gosh, that's a giant. Like David and Goliath. Sure. Like, what about aliens? No. You don't think there's any intelligent life out there? I think there is. So then there's aliens. I don't think they're aliens. I don't think that these like, you know, everybody thinks what aliens look like. I don't think... Okay, fine. You can say that, but they're still alien I life forms because they're not of this earth. I think there's something out there, yes, but when I hear alien, I think of like the gray, like big head, like no. Imagine. I would love to believe that God made something. Imagine else. thinking that gray aliens were the only type of aliens. I, Get a load of this plebeian. <laughs> you believe in Nessie, Loch Ness monster? Like I said, I believe that there's animals, especially in the ocean, that are weird looking. I don't believe it's a. L- I'm actually just watching something on Hulu called Monster Quest. That's talking about Nessie. Is it an older show? Yeah, it's a bit older. I fucking love Monster um, Quest. No, then. but it's it's like good. And There's so a, look up Fact or Fiction. That's another good I one. I do. I have That's watched that. That's such a good show yep. where they recreate like yep. the videos. Those yep. are so awesome. I used awesome. to watch that all the time. That was my go-to show like back the, in the day. I used to tape like the them. Chupacabra. Yeah, I used, I used to, to tape to, that on my VA, my yep. VCR or whatever I love, it was. Yep. Or like Fact or Faked is yeah. another one. Maybe um, it was Fact or Fake that I'm thinking of. Either way, it's whatever the one where they try to recreate the videos. No, they did. But like like I said, I love watching. I love conspiracies. Like. Some of them I think are absolutely stupid, but I love learning about them. Absolutely love okay. looking them up. I'm trying to think of any other. Uh... Oh, what about the Mothman? No. No. You don't believe in the Mothman? No. Why? Because it's stupid. I'm going to get canceled. Stupid. I'm going to get canceled. Can I get some Mothman defenders in the comments? No. I mean, I don't know very much about Mothman, but I do know like... I've seen like photos and stuff and like it just I personally don't. Sorry, guys. It's okay. If you do cool, I don't. <laughs> you ever taken up uh, an upper decker before? Do you know what an upper decker is? No. Like you, a punch? You've never taken an upper decker before? No. Okay. So, an upper decker is where you take a toilet you take the lid off of the top and then you drop a deuce in the lid, like in that actual, like, you know, where like the reservoir water is. Cause then when you flush it, then it's all poop water that gets flushed. When did that conversation change? I thought you were still talking about moth. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Boy. So you've 
you've never taken an upper an upper. No, but I'm about to look out my floor. Because <laughs> I was going to make a joke. Because I thought you were living in an apartment, not a dorm. I was going to say, can I take an upper decker at your place? Oh. And then you wouldn't have known what it was. And then I would have had you Google it so you could see videos of it happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways. I'll check my toilet cam at your house. So, so you haven't? No. Do you plan to? Yes. Actually? After hearing that, yes. I'll try it. <laughs> see? But it's I a prank, it's though. Cause it, it like ruins the toilet. So you have guys, to do guys, it. it's a prank. It's a prank. It's just a prank, bro. So you have to do it at like a place that's funny, like Taco Bell or something. But I love Taco Bell. Taco Bell, sponsor me. Uh, do it at Nick's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's going to watch this and have the no, fear of not, God put in him. He's not going to get this far. He's going to be like, okay, yeah, I right. can't handle these He's going to have anymore. the fear of God in his eyes yes. when he sees you go to the bathroom at his place. <laughs> He's like, what? Where? How the hell did they get into my place? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, what do you, what do you think happened at Roswell? Explain. Okay, this is actually like alien shit. You don't you don't know about Roswell? Okay, Roswell was this thing that happened where like the spaceship crashed, and within like an hour, the government like took care of it. They just got rid of it, and they said it was like like metal that they've never seen before they got like this dude to come in who was like a metal expert and he was like this isn't of earth and then um the government was like no it's just a weather balloon don't worry about it and then they said that they took it to area 51 that's how area 51 kind of started from my understanding i used to go to this elementary school that was trash like it was just run down all the books though your teacher's gonna be watching this like no no no, no, no. <laughs> everyone that went there can agree with me so much so that it almost got shut down like 14 times. But anyways, all the books in the library were about this shit. Like the Bermuda Triangle. You believe in the Bermuda Triangle? I, there is something, there is something there, yeah. I will admit. But that's like, so like I would write like book reports on the Bermuda Triangle mm -hmm. and then I would get like grades on that shit. Okay. I'm serious. No, I love On the that. different breeds of aliens. Like that was like the stuff I do. And I'm like, huh. yeah, this is a real education. America moment. But, <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, no, that's. That's actually what we would do. Like that's or what I would do. I mean, some of my friends would, but like, uh, I remember in 2012, this in Russia, they reported this spaceship that crashed, and then immediately after, they reported like it was like they saw comets flying, and it was it was a way to like deter people from looking at. It. In case you guys don't know, I'm big into aliens and shit. I could talk about aliens forever. I love me being like I don't believe in aliens. <laughs> I love cryptids. I love ghosts. Though I don't really believe in most cryptids like Bigfoot. You can go after yourself, but, but I love learning about it. Yeah, like yeah, it's cool to talk about though yeah, for sure. I agree. But how do we get here? I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, what movies are you watching? Any movies at all? Um, I'm not a really big movie person. Oh, well, that's right. You already said Family Guy. That's right, because you were yeah. watching Family Guy. But I movie slash like films kind of TV kind of thing like Family Guy. But I like to watch a lot of like. Or listen to like true true crime podcasts. Like I'm really big into like serial killers. I feel mm. like all women are. I definitely fit. in Yeah, that. why is that? I don't What's know. What's the appeal? Because we all wish we could kill people. Do you think it's like an escapist thing? Because like your lives, like to a degree, are so like I wouldn't say. Okay, I'm trying to word this in the right way. It's so <laughs> cancel him. <laughs> no, like I wouldn't say boring, but you know what I mean. Like it's mundane. No, I know what you mean. So it's like an escapist thing where it's like, oh my gosh, do you like put yourself in the shoes of certain oh, 100%. people? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, one hundred. I I was just trying to I word have that so right. So much empathy, like so much. No matter what it's for, mm -hmm. you like if you're crying, I'm gonna cry with you. If you're murdering someone, I'm gonna murder that person with you. So like, if it's like a woman that gets killed by her husband, do you like care more about that type of story as opposed to a husband being killed by? His wife? I like, is it a gender thing with you? I'm, I'm just I, curious. No, I'm just kind of like psycho yeah, no, 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 I know. Here. I'm not necessarily sure, but I definitely find it more like it's. I find it more interesting to watch if the woman is killing the man because I feel like really off. I feel like often it's usually a man killing a woman, right? Or like I just the shows that I watch, it's that's more like common. But I definitely find it cooler is the wrong word. I'm not trying to say cooler, but yeah, it's, it's like whoa she killed him like <laughs> she <laughs> don't touch me <laughs> you, you know what i mean though like i definitely but i'm more of yeah. like i'm more into serial killers like, like i okay. like i like watching like this person is is like going on a rampage of killing people and like oh my gosh never got caught or like i like diving in to the brains. Do you oh. like the cold cases more? I do. I really okay. like cold cases because 
it gives me a chance to be the detective and like see if I can figure it out. It's gonna sound dark. What's your favorite cold case? Like if you have one, like what's your favorite? That I maybe the one that intrigues you the most would be like the better way to word it instead of favorite. <gasps> Because that, that <laughs> implies that, like, you know, it's not that bad. But. I don't think I have one. There was, uh, I'm trying to remember what show it's from. But there was this girl who was at some kind of, like, bank. Mm-hmm. And then she disappeared. Um, but her car was left there. And the door was open. And there was, like, these stairs going down. And there was, like, blood on the stairs. And then her body was found. But there was no, like, hmm. they never figured out. And there's cameras outside of a bank, right? Yeah. So, like, she but just... They, they didn't. There was nothing. That's bizarre. There was. Li- I if I can figure it out by the time he like shares this or posts it. I will try to tell you what what it's from. Yeah, I mean, to a degree, I can post or like have stuff in the video, but I know that like with true crime, YouTube is no, very like, no like, no just, about just it. What so. it's called? Like, yeah, what I it's gotcha. Called. Yeah, but it like I've been watching this for the longest time, so it was definitely older. Um, okay. I used to watch Homicide Hunter with um, Joe Kendai. Like, I love him. Um, he is, he was a detective for the longest time. Like his cases were like intense. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, whenever I'm at work, I'm always listening to like podcasts. See, I can't do that. You know, I'll listen to podcasts if I'm like playing baseball, like the, the video game, you know, or like Madden or any video game that doesn't involve like a story. Like if it's like CSGO, because then it's more filler noise as opposed to like music like when i'm doing homework or i'm like writing a paper i can't listen to a podcast because all i'm thinking about is like what they're yeah, saying i can only listen to lo-fi like that, when i do that like messes with me it's called killer psyche okay um from wondery with candace delore i think her okay, name is cool um but she um she caught ted kaczynski she was the one who like grabbed him and like took him into custody so she was a fed she, yeah like she was Ew. she was feds no but she, like her stuff is so intriguing and she like she digs into the minds of the serial killers like she just says like yes this person killed this person but she gives like if they had any mental disorders how they're how they grew up like it gives she tells you the reasons why they did it but ted kaczynski was right though but no i get what you mean though yeah but it's just really cool like she was the one who like and she has a podcast of it like when she like grabbed him in the cat like oh it was so cruel like listening to it i bet she washed her hands a lot after the fact <laughs> that dude was living too. out in the woods I would too. but it's just so like she has so many amazing stories that i love listening listening to those podcasts especially when i'm doing like my little job yeah i'm just like yeah I uh, I love Joe Rogan. Like I know it's like every guy's answer. I, I, it feels like, but I don't know. Like if it's the it's dependent on the guest though. You know, if I like the guest, then I'll totally listen to it. Like my favorite ones are like Rob Zombie, or like um, what was the other? He had a director on. It was the guy that made District Nine. Like if he has like someone who I'm interested in, like if they're a creative, like he had Tarantino on, and I liked hearing that episode. Uh, anytime it's like more of a creative person, mm-hmm. I care more about that. I don't give a shit about all the politics and everything because yeah. it's like whatever, you know. But when it comes to the more creative side, I love hearing that insight. I don't know. Um, some podcasts are kind of hit or miss for me. I like Tarantino's podcast. Hit or miss. I guess they never copyright, miss. Copyright. Copyright. I'm going to get the whole video flagged and taken Sorry. down. But uh, Good. Nobody's watching this. Yeah, you're right. No <laughs> one's watching this far in. If you're this far in, comment the chicken leg emoji. <laughs> and if you do i'll follow you <laughs> that's such an empty promise i know you won't you know i think the next time like should we decide to do this again we should bring stands because that might be better than holding because i have stands for these i just decided not to bring because i didn't know if we'd be i know you know it's a meme Ooh. on this channel at this point but it's the um the quote from Adam Sandler's movie Jack and Jill: "It's better to have it and not yep. need, or it's, yeah, it's better to have it and not need it than you need it and have not that have in it." Your video, in I, your it's last the second video. video that's a, this is now the third time that that quote has appeared on this channel. Mom always said it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Oh yeah, she did say that. I remember that. That was cool. Are you going bald? Huh? Whopper, 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 whopper. You're get a copyright strike. Okay, I will say that I have been watching football and I'm so sick of hearing that ad. It's the most. An no, obnoxious like, thing and ever. Sorry that your grandma died. Can I sing you a song now? Whopper! <laughs> On the 12th, I watched House, and you did too for like a few seconds, and then you were like zoning out. Um, yeah, it, it's a confusing. I watched confusing. the animated Hobbit movie. <laughs> it's good. It's better than did the you actual watch the new ones. Velma? 
No, I haven't. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to waste time on that. I did watch this movie, though. It's called Hysteria, the Def Leppard story, and it's a biopic about Def Leppard. Well, there's a Def Leppard out there? But it's... Uh, Is the animal okay? No, shut up. It's a low-budget <laughs> movie about the band. Like, yeah. it's a TV movie. It's a guilty pleasure of mine because I'm a huge fan of Def Leppard, but it's like the movie is not good at all. Like, so for example, the drummer in the band lost his arm. That's kind of common knowledge. And he still drums with his one arm. And in the movie, it's clear. He's just like tucking his arm, like behind his back. Then he has like the shirt on. Bruh. And for the scene where he loses his arm, it's a really bad special effect. <laughs> it's like this, like the arms like floating. Off no, I was in a car wreck and you just see this bad dummy arm just like on the car. And it's, <laughs> it's rough. But oh, wow. for the most part though, like there are some good scenes that I like. For example, again, the drummer is like kind of the protagonist, which I understood why they did that. But I'm also like, I don't know, I would have liked to have maybe seen it from Steve Clark's perspective more. He's the guitarist that ended up passing away. And um, so with the drummer, like they do this bit in the movie where uh, when he's auditioning, he's doing different impressions of different drummers, right? And he does an impression of the drummer from The Who, who... Um, took Who? horse tranquilizers before a concert and he I passed out yeah and so then he did that you know like um when he was like rehearsing he pretended like fall backwards and then um <laughs> and then yeah and then later on though when he loses his arm and he's drumming again he like fucks with them by like going back it's like oh my god are you okay and then he says the name of the the drummer just to like uh keith moon but you know one of us in here um is actually an owl Where's this coming from? What are you talking about? One of us is an owl. Is that like your new furry identity? No, is that one what of we're us doing? is an owl. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have more episodes of us on the podcast. I think that'd be funny, I think. I think that'd be funny, I think. It's because I'm generally... People say women aren't funny. Um, You haven't met me yet. I am the most funniest person ever. I'm just kidding. I, can be I really... do want to get more like more multi-track stuff going, so we could have like just a round table, like more people here, and just get oh, loud be, and chaotic. That would be so bad. I know. That's why it'd be funny. It'd be... <laughs> Nobody would be able to understand anything. You have to like have a headphone for like if you want yeah. to listen to these two people have your left in, if you want to listen to these two people have your right in. But yeah, that's uh, I think that's about it. What time is it now? It's nine twenty-four. An mm -hmm. hour and twenty-four minutes past my bedtime. It, we've been filming for an hour and 24 minutes. Yeah. All right. Do you, do you get to sign off? Do you know how to sign yeah, off? What do I do? You say, I'm your name. You say your actual name. Don't say your name. You say your actual I'm name. I'm your name. And, and then you say, and you're watching Firewood Media. That's the new That's right. the new thing for 2023. And you're watching Firewood Media. Do yeah, do it's do do like do that, but don't do that with your hand. Jack, can I, introduce, can I say you too? Like, can I say your name? No, you just say your name. It doesn't matter. No, I'm going to say your name too. But you're not me. All right. <laughs> Shut up! All right, this is Layla Nock and uh, Cole McCormick, and uh, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> neither do I. This is Firewood Media. Oh, you're watching Firewood. Yeah. <laughs> and you're watching Firewood Media. You're out of focus. <laughs> All right, we're done. You're watching Firewood Media.